Good morning! Whether you're online or in person, thank you for joining us today. For our in-person guests, thank you for helping us make this a safe place for everyone by following the precautions and procedures we have in place. Please be considerate of social distancing guidelines and wear your mask while walking through the building. If you need to use the restroom at any point during the service, please exit using the rear doors of the sanctuary, and we ask that all children be accompanied by an adult. Now, let's review some upcoming events and opportunities. Ignite Student Ministries for grades 6 through 12 meets tonight here at the church from 6 to 7.30. There will be snacks, games, and some time spent in the Word, so come to connect with your friends and make some new ones. We'll see you there. And don't forget, coming up on Sunday evening, March 21st at 6 p.m. is the Ignite Student Ministries Dollar Dash fundraiser for Speed the Light. If you'd like to sponsor one of our students by matching the $40 that they have raised, you can do so by indicating Dollar Dash in the memo as you give by check or push pay. All your gifts will go directly to Speed the Light, providing vehicles and technology to missionaries around the world. Thank you in advance for your generous support. Mark your calendars for an all-volunteer meeting on Wednesday, March 24th at 6.30 p.m. Whether you serve in the nursery, welcome people at the front door, or play on the worship team, we would like everyone who serves in any capacity to join us for an important meeting focusing on the new safety and security protocols being implemented churchwide. Child care will be provided. We look forward to seeing you there. Well, Easter's coming up soon. I wish there was something fun to do. There is. On Saturday, March 27th, our church is hosting a drive through egg hunt from 10 till noon. We could still use your help. On the day of the drive through egg hunt, volunteers are needed to help pass out goodie bags, direct traffic, and pray over families and cars as they ask. Anyone interested in serving should call the church office and sign up and report to the church by 9.15 that day. Happy Easter! Good morning, church. I'm so excited that we are going to have a worship night on Saturday, March 27th at 6.30 p.m. called Encounter. Got my friend Ben here. Can you share a little bit about Encounter with us? Yeah, man. So Encounter is a regional worship night where people from all over the area, different churches and that kind of stuff, we gather together as common believers just seeking the presence of the Holy Spirit. That is the only expectation we has, have is just to meet with Him. That's right. Hey, and we are excited to partner with you. Absolutely. So we want to welcome you. We want to encourage you to invite anybody and everybody here on Saturday, March 27th at 6.30 p.m. Look forward to seeing you there. We are thrilled to be relaunched our Wednesday night programming back up on April 7th at 6.30 p.m. God has given us a clear vision of what these nights of ministry will be, and with that in mind, we are calling it Life Night. The purpose is for all of us, the young and the old, learning how to implement our faith everywhere in every area of our life. Now this discipleship-focused night of ministry has something for everybody. We have co-ed groups for our littlest attenders. For our elementary all the way up to high school, we have gender-based groups with our Rangers Ministry and Girls Ministries. And for adults, we didn't forget about you too. We have large group and small group environments for us to learn and grow together. Here's a sneak peek of what the adults will be studying. Ephesians 1.1, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Ephesians is considered to be the most concise, theologically rich book in the Bible. This is a survival manual for Christians. This is how you can survive and, and thrive, he's going to tell them, in the midst of a world that is not friendly to your message. Verse 5, when we were dead in our sins, he made us alive together with Christ. We used to be in a graveyard, now we're in this growing, flourishing garden. Are you killing sin actively right now, or is it killing you? Are you gaining ground or losing ground? Are you in the fight? Don't you think that means you should do all you can to bring inside those who are still disconnected from eternal life? That if the people in your city, your school, your neighborhood, your family are ever going to hear the gospel, it's going to be through your mouth. This great God has put all of his resurrection power into us so that he can bring us to salvation and, and, and healing to the world through us. Before the world was ever established, before any of this had ever been made, God knew you, he knew your name, and he loved you. That's what happens when you meet God in the story of Jesus. It's a, a story with such beauty and power and drama in it that just getting swept up into it forever changes you. It's not behavior modification. It's soul transformation at the, at the core level. 
So you see, as Paul nears the end of the book of Ephesians, he's trying to get the Ephesians to see that in all their relationships, even the most normal relationships, they're actually serving God and putting God on display. Paul's prayer here, I am, am praying for you also, that you would see the hope that God has given you in the gospel, that you would see that he's in control and that he's working in all things, that you would understand your great worth to God, that you would recognize the power God has put inside of you, and that you would ask God to extend that power through you to people all over the world who, who have yet to hear about him. Amen? Amen. Adults, I'm so excited to go through the book of Ephesians together. On Wednesday nights, we'll begin in the gym with a cup of coffee and a snack. Then we'll watch that week's lesson followed by a small group discussion at the tables. It'll be a great time to connect and grow in our faith together. So everyone, mark your calendars for Wednesday, April 7th, when our Life Nights will launch. We can't wait to see you there. As the Lord leads you to give back to Him through your tithes and offerings that support the ministries of Shrewsbury Assembly and other missions both here at home and around the world, you can do so in several ways. If you're joining us in person, you can place your gifts in the collection boxes posted by the doors as you exit. You can send your gifts electronically through your bank's online bill pay or check out PushPay, our convenient and safe online giving app. You can also mail your gifts directly to the church office. Thank you for your faithful and generous support. We hope you're able to participate in some of these opportunities available to help us connect and grow as we experience the presence of God together. Be sure to check your inbox on Saturdays for your weekly church email update that has replaced our paper bulletin. If you don't receive our weekly update, be sure to contact the church office so we can include you on our email list. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube page. You can check out the Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth with Passion of Bill and Sarah. And make sure you like and share those videos so your friends can be encouraged as well. And now, let's welcome Passion of Bill coming to share the word.